Storm Tracker Team Forecast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, hopefully your Independence Day is going well so far. We can say thank you to the cloud cover over the last hour. That quickly knocked down some of that heat out there, some of that direct sunshine out there that quickly allowed our feel like temperatures to get to 105 this afternoon. Still very humid outside, still very warm. Our current temperature now sits at 92. At one time got to 95 with feel like temperatures around 105, but we've dropped the 99 at this hour and our winds are sitting out of the west southwest now at six miles. Miles per hour. Notice current feel like temperatures 99 in New Orleans, still 106 in Thibodeau, 100 in Gonzales, 99 for us here in the capital area, and 104 currently over in Lafayette. Here's the story. We hit 96 this afternoon, putting us four degrees above normal. We started out at 72 and not much change as we move forward Friday, Saturday, and maybe even Sunday. We're going to continue to keep our temperatures well above average up to about 97 heading into Saturday afternoon with a lot of sunshine, minimal rain chances until early next week with the possibility of some cloud cover and some rain. It looks like we'll drop our temperatures by a degree or two. So here's what you got to do. Make sure you hydrate, not just during the daytime, hours, but before you head to bed and throughout the entire day, make sure you find some AC every once in a while. Take some breaks out there. Color light colored clothing, always your best option and always check that back seat before you leave. Also, again, we are continuing to keep a very close eye on our Doppler radar just in time for those fireworks this evening. We had one isolated thunderstorm out there that quickly popped on the other side of the Atchafalaya base in the western edge. But as you see here, a little bit of lightning strikes that all is beginning to fade at this point. A lot of those storms that we're seeing out there are going to wrap up quickly heading into the evening hours and that's good news for those fireworks downtown and anywhere that you can shoot fireworks a little bit later on this evening. So again, you may see a light shower or two, maybe a quick wind gust around False River at this point heading up towards the New Roads area, but it's not expected to last too much longer so that by around 7, maybe 8 o'clock, those showers will kind of finish up for the area. And as you notice, by the time we get to 9, dry picture out there, things are looking good going into the evening hours. Clouds begin to clear. Very mild start. A lot of sunshine once again tomorrow. We'll keep our rain chances at about 10% or less. And then as we make our way into Saturday, nothing but sunshine out there. And it's going to be another scorcher. We also sit under an ozone action day for tomorrow, an air quality alert. And the reason being it's because of some of that lingering Saharan dust mixed with all of that pollution that we're possibly going to see from all those lingering fireworks later on tonight at this point. So as you see here, what I suggest is if you're going to be outdoors tomorrow, kind of limit some of that outdoor activity. Again, that's just a forecast, but it looks like particle levels are going to be somewhat high heading into those peak afternoon hours. So your chance for rain mainly dry through Saturday, the possibility of an occasional shower on Sunday, and then we'll see a few more storms heading into early next week. Headline wise, ozone action day for tomorrow, sweltering throughout the entire weekend and then relatively a dry picture throughout much of this weekend. Even as we head into next week, we're not calling for widespread rainfall. Truck with satellite picture. Everything is clear and quiet. Nothing expected over the next five days tonight. Should be a fine evening for fireworks. 74 for your overnight low. We're getting past those early evening storms. We partnered up with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge to get your weather on the go at this point. And here is that all important seven day forecast. And as you see here, once it loads up, we've got 96, a very hot forecast heading into the weekend. 97 on Saturday. Feel like temperatures around 105 and possibly greater. Maybe even the concern for some heat advisories out there heading into this weekend. Otherwise, we're going to call for some storms out there by early next week, dropping our temperatures slightly, but still overall a very mild forecast at this point. And your ski to me brought you by Selvin. We continue to sit in that high category. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yeah, best advice, light colored clothing and find things to do inside every mm -hmm. once in a while. Especially during the, that peak time during the exactly. day. Exactly. You the got that window from about 2 to about 5. Mm -hmm. Again, do the things before that, do the things after that, and I think you'll be fine. All right. Evening, go outside.